Y'all, everything is feeling so fresh, so clean. Barigani Riches, I am back and I'm actually getting ready to prep for my retightening, which comes up on Sunday. Allow me to update you. Normally I shampoo my hair the day before my retightening, but because I am undergoing this treatment that I have going on for my um, dermatitis flare up, I have to consider the fact that now when I shampoo my hair, I need to apply oil. And also the doctor wants me to shampoo twice a week. So today is Thursday and I'm trying to get my shampoo in so I can go ahead and put my oil in so that by the time it's time for me to go for my retightening, my hair won't be oily. So I think I showed you my shampoo, but this is the medicated shampoo. I just got through shampooing my hair. I did mix it with water and I did braid and band and I just put it in between all on my scalp. I let it set for 10 minutes or so. It was probably like 15 minutes, but I let it set for about 10 minutes. And this is the shampoo bottle. Then I did a second shampoo with this clarifying shampoo. Um, once that was over with, I got this from Ulta and i did mix this with water as well and i used it to shampoo my hair so i'm just sitting here letting it sort of dry out a little bit before i start putting the oil on so let's get a a view of what we got going More water than welfare. Farewell from the Holiday Inn. Slide in. What you thinking people out here doing for the money? What you thinking people out here doing for the money? Pills are safer than crack per black. Don't change the fact I'm out here bleeding with my friends. What you thinking people out here doing for the money? What you thinking people out here doing I'm not for American. The money? I'm African American. All right. Me. So once this dries out a little more. This will be the oil that I use. There. And it says for treatment of scalp psoriasis, I can use it on wet or dampened hair. And it's to um, put it on my scalp thoroughly, a thin film of the oil. Massage, cover your scalp. Um, and they did give me a shower cap. So this is what I've been doing at night. I put the oil in here. This is my old sulfur eight bottle because it has a little tip on it. So when my hair dries out just a little bit more, let me see, you can see that little tip on it. I'm gonna go through and apply it to my scalp. The amazing thing about this oil is it's not like a greasy oil. It quickly absorbs. So I need to find out what type of oil. Oh, it says it's light mineral oil and refined peanut oil. But it really absorbs in your scalp really good. As a matter of fact, I don't feel residue on my fingertips like a day after I've used it. So I just wanted to update you as I go through my process of getting my first retightening since i've had this um situation going on and i have a lot of maybe it's new growth can you see i'm not sure there or it might be slippage i don't quite know which one it is ever Mm 
Just gonna find a way. Ooh. Damn, people really get mad when they don't get no more bacon. So I'm going to come back once I am able to, once it dries out a little more and I can show you um, me putting the oil on and maybe the shower cap and probably come back tomorrow to let you know how the final results are feeling. And maybe the day before I go to my appointment because I definitely, the doctor wants me to shampoo twice a week. So I'll probably be shampooing my hair again next week, Tuesday, and I get my hair done on Sunday. So I'm back. I'm sitting in front of the evening sunlight, what little bit I can get. And I just, well, I didn't just. I shampooed my hair this morning using the medicated shampoo. This is week number two. I have shampooed twice this week. And I did put the oil in my scalp or on my scalp so I just took the plastic bag off so that we could have a gander y'all everything is feeling so fresh so clean so light weight see this there we go I don't see there's not any flaking that was all right here on the screenshot let me just pull it apart there's no flaking or anything like that i think i definitely caught it early this is actually the side where everything was peeling up Uh, there as I'm doing this I don't see any flakes hit, hidden in my lap uh, that's the center part let's just do a random part scalp looking good let's do another random Ooh. Random. Okay. All right. Oh, let's see if I can get a little of the back. Okay. Okay. My hair definitely feels 90% better. I would like to say really 100% better. When I first was experiencing problems with my scalp, the itching was really, really bad. Um, the flakes, um, the scaling of my skin was really, really bad. Like it was just peeling like my skin was just literally peeling off around the edges and everything so everything is so much better 
and I was telling someone in my comments, like after the first shampoo, it was like the combination of the shampoo and the oil is exactly what I needed. Like the first shampoo, I could see a difference. So actually tonight, um, today is, what's today? Thursday. I have a retightening on um, Sunday. So tonight I'm going to sleep with this on my head. They tell you to, to do it for 24 hours. So tonight I'm going to sleep with this on my head. So let all that oil soak in. Friday it'll be able to soak in. Saturday it'll be able to soak in. And then I'll be able to go for my retie. As I was I don't notice it being super oily. So here go my fingers. You know, they got a little glistening on them, but they're not super, super oily from the oil. So I don't know what type of oil they use, but it definitely, it absorbs in really, really well. So tonight, I'm probably just going to sleep with this on because this will sort of keep my plastic cap on yeah so that'll sort of keep my plastic cap on um probably the next time i see you as it relates to hair i may be on my way to get my retightening and i'll come back and put that at the end of the clip along with what my hair looks like for the retightening. Thank you so much for tuning in to my journey. If you're having any problems with your scalp like I was having, you can wait around. You can try some home remedies if you like, but I'm, I don't have, if I was in my 20s or 30s, I might play around with experimenting. But when you get to my age, I'm over 50, I got to save my hair follicles. I don't need to be doing anything <laughs> that's going to cause my hair to thin out or anything like that. So I'm sitting right here in front of the sun. So excuse me if I'm um, squinting, but maybe tomorrow I'll come right here and do a, um, a makeup video because this light is amazing. It is amazing right here. I don't know how long I have it for. Maybe I need to start timing how long I have the sunlight right here. But I'm going to start to do my makeup videos right here up under this natural light. Thank you so much, Riches, for tuning in to my video. I will see you on the next Rich Upload. So stay safe. Peace.